Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I'm here to update you on Ooh. All these products right here, these are the products that I have included in my mini marathon challenge for 2020. So the whole aim of this challenge is to use up a bucket load of my mini makeup items. I have a huge basket of like over 100 mini products and I am trying to work my way through them very slowly, <laughs> but work through them nonetheless. And I update you on my progress every month and let you know how I'm going, let you know what I'm going to be focusing on in the next month and all that jazz. So without further ado, let's jump on in and I'll update you on my products. So we might start off with my two bite lipsticks first. So I have two in the project at the moment. One is in pomegranate and it is a red and the other one is in Meritage and it is a nudie color. I'm actually wearing this on my lips today under a lip gloss. My the red one I haven't made any progress on. I didn't use this at all this past month which is very annoying but it's not much I can do about it. So we're moving on. The next one is the um, the nudie pink color in Meritage. And I have used this a fair bit. I don't know whether you're going to see, like it has dropped a little bit in there. And then when I twist it up, um, this is all that I have left. So I think that I'm getting pretty close to having this done. It might be maybe another month and a half before I get through this, but I am still making progress on this. I'm still wearing this one on a regular basis and I'm still enjoying it. I like how it looks on my lips. It's a good, it's probably more like just a touch pinkier than I normally wear on a daily basis, but I, I don't hate it. I've actually been really enjoying wearing something that's a little bit more, so I'd like a little, just a tiny a little bit more than what I would normally wear. So it is nice. And when I say a little bit more, I mean like on a daily basis, a little bit more than what I normally would wear on a daily basis. Next is <laughs> this one. This is the Tarte Moody Lip Surgeon Lip Tint. I didn't, um, I don't remember. Maybe I did use this like once or twice, but I still have, this looks disgusting because every time I apply it, it just goes everywhere. But I still have this little nub left on this one i'm so close to having this finish but it is just hanging on for dear life so hopefully i can use this a few times in june and have it finished by the end of the month fingers crossed next is my mascara i don't really have much to update you on with this one i will say though i don't love this mascara this is the Stila huge mascara i've been finding that this flakes off really easily it gets like little smudges under my eyes um, it looks nice. I'll definitely say it looks nice, but I just find that it smudges and flakes really easily on me. So I'll probably keep this in for maybe like another month or two. But after that, I think I'll definitely give it the toss. My, this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper, I believe. It, all the writing has completely rubbed off on this. I think I used this a few times this month, but not enough to really make a good dent in it. Um, but I still really enjoy this. I've been really loving like the purplier I looks lately and that just doesn't, I find it doesn't really go with copper all that well. Then I have my Tarte lip gloss in um, Finn. I just had this sitting in a cup of hot water for like 10 minutes and it has barely moved. So I think I'm about halfway on this one still. I didn't use this one as much as I did in May. I didn't use this one in May as much as I did in April, but I still continue to use this. I'm wearing this over the top of the Bite Beauty lip stick in Meritage today on my lips. That's what I'm wearing. Um, I like it. It has like a slight minty feeling to it. Like it gives you that slight tingly feeling on the lips, but nothing over the top. I don't know whether Tarte still make these lip glosses, but I have a few from a kit that I got uh, longer than I would like to admit <laughs> ago. Um, but I still think that they are like the formula is still good. It hasn't gone bad from what I can tell. And I'm going to continue to use them until hopefully I can have all of them used up. I think after I finish this one, I have maybe another three or four of these in my collection. So I'm hoping that I can get them all done this year. I just need to reapply 
my lip gloss more, but I just tend to forget. I get like, I get like swept away in the day and I forget to reapply like all the time. Then I have my NARS lipstick in Tulare. And I've used this a little bit, but this lipstick is hella firm. And I find like, I feel like the slightest tugging on my lips when I apply this. So I feel like this may, I don't know, maybe it might get a bit creamier once I get to a certain point, like kind of once I break through that outer coating. Um, but it is quite a firm lipstick, so I haven't really made that much progress on it. Um, it is still, it's still there. You can still pretty much see, I guess that's a good way of gauging. You can still pretty much see the entire NARS imprint in the bullet there. I'm just only starting to rub the very top off of those letters on the bullet. So hopefully I can get through this one uh, probably in a couple of months because I would like to focus on this one from Bite more this month and then have this as like my backup lipstick. But on days where I don't want to grab for this, I've been grabbing for this one because it is more nude that this one has a bit more pink to it. My quarterly instant detox mask. I did not use this at all this month. I don't know what it was this month, but I just was not feeling like masking at all. I think I used a mask maybe like once for the whole month. So I totally did not use this one. I totally forgot to use this one. And yeah, hopefully I can get this one done or at least use it once. That would be an achievement. Um, at least use it once in the next month. Um, and we'll see how we go after that. So those are my updates. I have two products that I have completely used up in June and they are, the first one is the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof liner. I'm very happy that I managed to get through this one because it was starting to get really dry and it felt um, quite stiff and like it wasn't transferring any color when I was using it on my upper and lower lash lines. And it was getting, like it was kind of flaking off in chunks and it was very stiff and dry and I was not enjoying it at the end. So I'm really glad that I finished this one up. And then I managed to get through another lipstick. This is my Bite Beauty lipstick in XOX and I have worn it completely down. I'm very happy. I've really been enjoying these, but um, did I say Bite Beauty? Bare Minerals. If I said Bite Beauty, I meant Bare Minerals. I've been really enjoying these Bare Minerals lipsticks. I have taken a break from them with what I have in my project at the moment, but once I use up the Bite Pencils and the NARS one, I think I might grab for another one of these in my collection because I do really like the formula. So if I have more in my collection that I can incorporate like on a daily basis, I'll definitely grab them out at some point. But this was a really nice formula. I probably wouldn't purchase this again or the full size, but I did really enjoy the experience while I was using it. Now to replace those, I have two new items rolling in and one of them I actually have started using already this month. And that one is the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Viva Veneto. And I have worn the tip down. There was like a tip that kind of stuck out a little bit when it was completely wound down. I've worn that down past the edge of the packaging. And let me roll this out. This one is going to take me a while to get through because there's a fair amount of product in this little guy. So this is how much eyeliner is in this one completely. Hopefully this formula stays stable throughout the time that I use it, unlike the E Cosmetics one. It's an all right eyeliner. From what I've been using so far, I do find that sometimes it does transfer a little bit and it doesn't quite set down completely for me. But if I'm applying this to my upper and lower lash line, it's fine. But if I just apply it to my upper lash line, for example, I do find that it transfers down onto my lower one. But if I apply it on both, it's fine because, you know, it's just transferring from black to black. So that one is coming in. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get through that one. To replace my Bare Minerals lipstick, I'm actually going to replace it with a lip gloss. Replacing it with this lip gloss because I've actually been really enjoying using this one lately. So I thought I may as well roll it into a project and give myself more of an excuse to use it. But this is the Fenty Beauty um, 
the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. I have used, I'm down to here on the packaging. Um, I'm down to like there. You can kind of, you can see through the packaging because I did put this one in hot water as well. So you can see that I've used probably about a third of this one. So I think if I, I don't know, if I actually focused on this one and only had this one in the project, it probably would only take me maybe two months to get through this. But because I have the Tarte Lip Gloss, it might take me a little bit longer to get through. But I thoroughly, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy the Fenty Gloss Bomb, so I'm happy to have it in the project. Definitely happy to have it in the project. That's my update on all my products that are in my mini marathon challenge. Let me know down in the comments box if you are focusing on any of your mini products, how you are going on them, or if you're focusing on trying to use up any of your lipsticks in your collection, how are you going on those ones as well? If you enjoyed this video, I hope you would consider giving it a big thumbs up. If you're new around here and you want to keep up to date on all these projects, then I hope you would consider subscribing just down below. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.